refugee. He did not choose to leave Iran. He did not choose to bid farewell to his mother for the last time. And he certainly did not choose to take the long journey to be granted asylum in the UK. This is the story. No one wants to leave their home country, fatherlands, their family, all by sudden. And they asked me if I can share my story with them. I'll explain what happened in detail. We face many problems because of our religion and our ethnicity as being Kurdish. Most of us wanted independence, to be a separate country. Any involvement with that, with that activities is against the government's security and policy. So, and then my father and stepfather were very, very important members of that. By the time I saw the progress from drawing and it becomes to that, and then it turned up to that novel, I found it quite touching. Even as a teenager, Everyone knew the value of schooling and worked hard for a better future. But on the day he went to collect his exam results, his life changed forever. My stepfather called up school and asked the teacher to send me back home immediately. So by the time I get home, he asked me to leave without no explanation. The only thing he said, if they catch you, they will catch me. So you need to leave. I arrived to Turkey. I stayed a few days and then I get on the lorry until and then they took away all the IDs from us. Anything that makes you identify what country you're from and why. One by one, his fellow travellers were delivered to their destination and after 15 days, the doors were finally opened. With nothing but the clothes on his back, Ibrahim was now alone in a cold and alien world. He saw cars driving on the left-hand side and realised it must be the UK he was in. Then the interviews started. Interviews that would colour the next four years of his life in the UK. I couldn't sleep properly, I couldn't eat until I finished the process. You had to wait it was so long for that. And the hardest thing is you had to repeat yourself many times many times, so all over again for different things. Even they wanted to assess your age, you had to provide it to leave your country. My story, I tell it over and over again until its meaning is lost. And my experience about leave to remain, I work as a volunteer for the British Red Cross. So they show me that leaflet. And then um, when I saw that leaflet, I was like, this is my life. It was about me. And I signed up for it. And I didn't have any plan to be a movie star or anything. So I was like, I just want to do something to help young asylum seekers or any asylum seekers really because it's a very very hard process to get through so i finished college this year and i applied for international business at brunel university i've got offer i want to go to university uh, and continue my volunteer work with the red cross no matter how harrowing his story everyone knows he was just one of many children all over the world fleeing danger, war and persecution to find a place of safety in the UK. Thank you. We're not here because we want to, we are here because we had to, we had no choice. I don't want to go back to that country, but I definitely want to go just to find my mom. Yeah. Even if I have to travel around the world, I need to find it. Yeah.